So the Yankees are down three to the Red Sox in the sixth inning. Anthony Rizzo's at the plate, and yeah, he just unloads this to right field. And then the next hitter, Aaron Judge, hits this little dribbler to the shortstop, and he's safe at first. But Cora's like, hold up, hold up. He's safe. Watch the replay, and yeah, he's pretty safe. The ball's barely in the frame when Judge touches first base. So now you got the tying run on plate, and the Yankees got something going here. Is a comeback in the making? Guess we'll have to see. To make matters even better though, Giancarlo Stanton is the one at the plate and my gosh, it's Terminator out there. Man's out here literally looking like he's trying to kill someone. He gets a pitch he likes and ooh, he swings right through the ball. But then he gets another pitch and this time he drives this to left center field. It's off the green monster. Left fielder doesn't know what he's doing. Center fielder picks it up, throws it into the short and oh my gosh, Aaron Judge is out by a mile. Crowd's going crazy and pitcher realizes it's not because of anything he did. Meanwhile, Giancarlo's at second and expletive. If we watch this replay, Giancarlo was literally like 20, 30 feet away from tying this game up. No green monster, this is a home run in like 10 other MLB parks. So the Yankees get unlucky there a little bit. Ball bounces, and again, Alex Verdugo on left has no idea what he's doing, but the center field is right there to back him up. Good on him. By the time the catcher gets the ball, Aaron Judge is like 20, 30 feet away from home. He's out by a mile. But if you look at it from this angle, Judge almost slides around the catcher here, but he's still out by a couple feet. Good on Judge making it close. Good on the catcher for being better. Now quickly pan over to Yanks third base coach Phil Nevin, and he's like, man, maybe if I could get myself to barf, then they'll think I'm sick and take me out of the game. And why is he thinking this? Watch the replay. Nevin's watching, 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 and this is the moment he sends Judge. Judge is like 30 feet away from third base, which is quite a distance, but... Taken to the fact that Xander Bogarts doesn't even have the ball yet. And by the time Bogarts has the ball, Judge is like halfway down the line almost. The thing is, I don't think Nevin realized just how clean the Red Sox relay here would be. Bogarts doesn't bobble, it's a perfect one hop. Bogarts doesn't juggle the ball, there's no trouble there. And he makes a perfect throw to the catcher. Catcher doesn't bobble, it's not a one hopper that he has to struggle with. And yeah, Judge is just out by a mile. The thing is, based on what Nevin saw... It's not a terrible call. He saw that Bogarts didn't have the ball. He saw that the ball was still in the outfield. And he saw that Judge is a decent runner. The problem is, Nevin didn't think. There's one out right now. If the Yankees don't send Judge here, they're guaranteed runners on second and third with one out. And the chances of Judge scoring from third with one out are decent. It's not like Judge's run is the tying run or something. Stanton's run at second is the one that matters, and so to send Judge here and completely risk it is kind of bad. And Nevin knows this, so he's clenching his cheeks and Aaron Boone is staring him down in the back. In a couple days, maybe Phil Nevin will be on the LinkedIn grind just as I am. Now the funniest thing about this though is in the bottom half of the inning, look at what happens to the Red Sox. Run on first, Verdugo hits this shot to right field. Judge has a good arm, they get the relay home, and Bogarts is safe by a little bit. But if you look at the Red Sox third base coach, he ain't smiling, he ain't cheering, and why is that? Watch the replay. First off, Red Sox get real lucky that this ball doesn't bounce into the stands because if they do, the run doesn't score, it's just a ground rule double. But if we zoom out with Bogarts about one stride away from third base, third base coach is telling him to stop. Now Bogarts ends up ignoring him and just going home anyways, but if he had listened to third base, if he stops there, he might not score in the inning. To make matters worse, you watch the close-up and this third base coach is given like a stop and go sign like at the same time. Either that or he's doing like that 80s dance move like the windshield wipers. I don't know if you've ever seen that. He hits the nae real quick. Anyways, Yankees end their season there and again, I'm not a Yankees fan so if you're watching this channel and you're about to comment, oh you're just salty that the Yankees lost. I'm not a fan. It's just the name guys. It's just the name. Now this video is brought to you by RossAcieteWear.com. They're a dope streetwear brand. They got all sorts of hoodies, all sorts of hats. Their new release are these geometric crown tees that come in three different colors. Really, really cool. They got some subtly baseball themed t-shirts. Those are cool. Anything that's not on sale, you can use the code SAM11 to get a 20% discount. And if you support them, you're directly supporting me. So go check them out.